Hello, welcome back to my channel. So I don't usually take the time to address comments I see in the comment section in a video. But over the last week or so, I've seen an alarming amount of comments saying that my hand is fake and that it's all CGI. So here it is to dispel it. Nope, it is unfortunately not fake and it is real. But thankfully, I have a shop and and the skill set to allow me to, to do for myself so I can build a device like this. This device is all mechanical. So it works off of the flexion extension of my wrist and then the splay is by abduction, adduction. Down, closes the fingers, up, splays the fingers. So between the two motions, you can get you can get motion out of the hand that looks pretty anthropomorphic. Now, let's look at the back of the hand and then you can see the, the triple wiffle tree. So the way that it works, I have, a gimbal, I have a gimbal and a Gaffney plate. So when it's extension, this chain is relaxed, the winder is in its open position. And when I close my hand, go to extension, you can see it pulls this lever winds this chain through the center and pulls through the wiffle trees. Now, because it's all wiffle tree, wiffle tree here, wiffle tree there, and then a pull through wiffle tree here, it allows the fingers to move independent of each other. If I didn't have this pull through mechanism, then as soon as one finger would meet with resistance, all the rest of the fingers would stop. You know, if you didn't run wiffle tree, is it wouldn't allow you to have a super compliant grip. You know, I can grab something that's out of shape. You know, same thing, same thing with, with this. So the wiffle tree is a key element to the design of this hand. The, the other design that I've been working on in this series of hand is the lock under load on the back plate. So what that does is when the fingers are placed under load, say 10, 15 pounds, then this ratchet and pawl engage and that keeps, that keeps the fingers in place to where they don't back drive, but you don't have to put input in through your forearm flexing the hand. Now I'm working on a different tooled version of this, slightly less complex, more reliable, and should offer greater holding force than what this version was allowing. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, that's, that's the whole thing about iteration. This is the set of components that was from JLC, from that batch that I had JLC print. And it's close. It's taken a lot more rework than what I was figuring because I'm having to look at these as as cast pieces, which is fine. It's just the amount of time that I'm putting into refining these, really, I could take it out onto the milling machine and just, you know, cut new ones out of, out of blank, out of blanks of aluminum. So, you know, that's kind of a, you know, give or take kind of plus or minus on that. You know, um, I think I'm just going to start machining new versions of this. But, you know, this was nice to see how and if printing was a viable solution for manufacturing this piece. I hope that helps everyone to understand how my hand works and maybe it dispels some of the it's fake and CGI. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. What's the matter? What? What's up, buddy? What? What do you want?